G'day beer lovers, it's your old mate again here, VB Ed. Today, I'm um, taking a little trip off the coast, off the coast of Perth. We're going to a little island called Rotnest. Um, it was discovered in the 1600s by Dutch explorers. Um, and originally they called it ro uh, Rat's Nest. Um, and you'll find out later on why it was called Rat's Nest. So, um, we're going to be hopping on this boat behind us. It's going to take about an hour to get there. Um, and uh, it's pretty, uh, the, uh, the conditions are pretty uh, flat at the moment, so we're not expecting a rough trip. But uh, if, it, if it does get rough and, we, and, the, and uh, there's a bit of seasickness around, no worries. I've got these little uh, Bioflow magnetic bracelets, which should uh, stop us from getting seasick. So I'll catch you, catch you when we get to Rotnest. Cheers, guys. the main uh, settlement on Rotnest Island. It's called Thompson Bay uh, and this is where all, most of the accommodation is and where you get your supplies. There's one store here, there's a bakery, there's even a subway here, a few other little shops. Most of the accommodation is, is not five star, it's pretty uh, probably one star but uh, that's the charm of the place. That's the sort of accommodation that you'll find here. This area here is called the mall. This is where all the uh, shops are, or the, shop, the shops that there is. And as you can sort of see, the main way to get around on Rotnest Island is bicycle. There's not a lot of uh, cars. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty uh, tourist friendly. Very laid back atmosphere. Check that out guys, there is a liquor store here. You couldn't survive without that, eh? <laughs> well here they are. These are called quokkas. They are marsupials. And uh, like I said earlier on, when the uh, Dutch explorers came here in the 1600s, they thought these, these creatures here were just giant rats. And that's why they called this place Rat's Nest. So the cute little things. Um, and obviously they're used to uh, contact with man, so they, they allow us to, to come up quite close. Um, so as, as they've lived with man, they've become scavengers, which may not be a very good thing for them. Yeah, we're a bit closer to the accommodation, we can see in front of us and also the beach down there. And there's another stop just around the corner, the main beach bay just around the corner. On Rotnest Island, there's two main settlements. There's the main settlement at Thompson Bay, and there's this other one here called Geordie Bay. It's a lot smaller than the Thompson Bay settlement. Uh, so when you come to stay at Rotnest Island, you've got a choice whether you're at the main settlement or whether you're at this one here in Geordie Bay. G'day guys, when you come to Rotnest, the best thing to do is hop, hop on the uh, shuttle bus and I'll, that'll take you right around the island and uh, you get to stop off at all the various little beaches along the way. Uh, some of these little beaches are absolutely fantastic. This one where, where I'm at right now is called Little Salmon Bay. So we're just going to get our tog, togs on and uh, have a bit of a dip. We're going to swim here at uh, Little Salmon Bay, but uh, there's people here warning us about the blue bottles in the water. So uh, the blue bottles are like little uh, jellyfish, got a very nasty sting on them. So uh, yeah, nice beach, but I think we're going to pass up on the swim. This place here is one of the main places you can buy lunch. It's called the Rotness Bakery. They have a lot of homemade pies here. I'm hoping that they actually have uh, quokka pie on the menu. We'll go in there and find out. Damn it, they don't have quokka pie on the menu. I thought they would have. Look at this guys, these quokkas are everywhere. We're at the uh, bakery at the moment having lunch. 
and I've had to settle with a uh, lamb and a rosemary pie. And you didn't say Yeah, what a bummer that there was no quokka pie on the menu. Yeah, we've just journeyed a little bit more around Rottnest, and this one here is called Salmon Bay, so we're not to be confused with Little Salmon Bay. This is just Salmon Bay, I suppose it's Big Salmon Bay, I guess. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try again to see whether uh, the water's safe enough to swim. G'day guys, just enjoying a, a beer at the Hotel Rotnest, situated right on Thompson Bay and uh, we're just winding down before we catch the ferry home, so um, I'm just, uh, guess what, I'm not even drinking VB. I've ordered a pint of Little Creatures Pale Ale, so I don't always drink VB. So uh, yeah, we've had a fantastic day on Rotnest, we've travelled right around the island, visited all the beaches, did a bit of swimming. And uh, till next time, guys, just remember, drink sensibly.